Do you know what to do with that, Kylie? No. I'll explain to you what to do with that. That is a puffer mushroom. Yeah. And what you do <laughs> is, do you hear magic. it? Listen. Like a watermelon. It's like a watermelon. Yeah. So that means it's ripe. It and what you'll beautiful. do is you will slice that uh -huh. like a slice of bread. Yeah. Yeah. And you get a frying pan, mm. good slab of butter, mm. a good bit of garlic. Yes. And you put it in the frying pan with the butter and the garlic. And you fry it until it's toasty on one side. Oh flip it over gosh. like a flapjack and on the other side. And then you have some of your eggs. Wow. That just smells gorgeous and sounds amazing. And that's what you do with puffer mushrooms. That's incredible. And we've loads of them here. As you can see, there's some oh, here there. and they're over here and, and over there. Why are they growing specifically here? Why are they growing specifically here? Because there's no artificial fertilizer. Uh -huh. Exactly. And it's a really good, uh, you will find them on other farms. Yeah. But they will usually be in an area which has not had it's an affected by spray or exactly. You look at the you, you look look at the wild mushroom. Yeah. There in, in, in August. Yeah. In, in, in autumn time. Yeah. Years ago, you could go out, you could take twenty paces into a field and you would fill two buckets full of mushrooms. Those beautiful field mushrooms. Yeah. Yep. Not anymore. It's not so much anymore. You see little clusters, small clusters. Here and there. Yeah. 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 But nothing like it used to be. Is it brown inside or is it white? Because no, it's white inside. Here, break it open with your fingers. Because of the spray. Break it open with your fingers. Ah! Oh. Look at that. Isn't that white? It's a white, white, white. <laughs> it's like a big marshmallow. So but see, do you feel... You slice it like toast and you then cook it like toast. Is it exactly. Like you slice it. No, you fry it like you fry Put eggs. Pan, yeah. Yeah. Put it in a pan with butter and garlic. It's like a big meringue. Isn't it? It's a meringue mushroom. That's another one. But see, what happens is when it matures, so if you open that up, when this goes soft mm. and pulpy mm. and it, it kind of it shrinks as well. Mm. And if you then step on it, there's a poof of oh, yeah, spore, spore fly, and off fly off of it. And that's why it's called the puffer mushroom. Oh, gorgeous. I would never have thought you could eat that unless, you know, when you look underneath and you see the brown... Doesn't it smell delicious but though? It smells exactly like a field mushroom. Maybe sweeter. Beautiful, thank you. Okay, well take that home and fry it. And you can take this one home and fry it too. Have a smaller one. Mushrooms and eggs. Mushroom, mushrooms and eggs. Well done. That's gorgeous.